What's up, guys? Clean Brittany here, bringing you a Team Deathmatch gameplay on Array. Uh, you guys probably just heard my cat sneeze. <laughs> Alright, so today's gonna be a comment. I'm not gonna go ahead and talk about my guns, my classes, and stuff like that because uh, I just want to get this story out. Um, this is a story that happened to me today before I had my lunch break, and so I'll just jump into it. So, um, so this morning I was uh, let me turn this shit down. Um, so this morning I was, um, I was passing a client, and then, um, all of a sudden this guy comes in, and it's a guy that, he, he usually comes in very often, I mean, um, he's a younger guy, maybe around, uh, 20, 20 to 25, maybe a little older, but I would say for sure, well, younger than 25. Anyways, and the situation with this guy is that he was in a car accident. And because of his car accident, um, I guess you can say he's cognitively impaired. Um, uh, yeah, so he has trouble walking. Um, it's very, um, he doesn't walk like a normal person. It's basically one step at a time, very slow. And also with his speech, it's very slow too. Um, uh, he speaks in a very low pace. Uh, you have to really pay, like, pay attention to what he's saying. Um, and it's, you probably won't understand him the, fir the first two, three times you hear him. So it's really important to pay attention when he talks. Anyways, so he comes, he pays, he buys, he comes and buys his stuff. Um, I scan his things. I tell him the final price, but I tell him uh, that I needed his postal code. Because at my, um, at my work we're doing a, um, how can I say it? Um, oh god, what's it called? A survey, because a lot of people aren't getting our flyers, whatnot. We just want to know who's getting them, and then, and then, anyways. So then, um, he tells me, uh, you know, he tells me his postal code and everything. So then, like, I punch it in. I put the amount he gave me, whatever. I finish the transaction, and then I say, um, goodbye. Have a good day, and have a happy Easter, Michael. And uh, so at that point, he just he stops and he looks at me, and. He says, what the hell? You know my name. I mean, <laughs> and then I, you know, I laugh because I'm a kind of person who likes to laugh. Um, I, pr I bring humor in everything kind of thing. Um, I put humor in a lot of things too. And, um, uh, and I said, well, yeah, I mean, like, you come in here quite often. And, uh, and the person that I work with, her name is Gabby. And, uh, she just, you know, she just said your name. So I figured that, you know. Might as well, right? And uh, so then at this point, like, he was sitting farther away from the counter. So then he, he walks up closer to the counter and he leans on the counter and he's like, Well, if you know my name, can I know yours? So I say, Yeah, sure, my name is Brittany. Now, before we get into this, um, I'm the kind of person that will treat a person with respect because that's how I was raised. I mean, even if a person's intellectually disabled, whatever, I will treat I will treat them as if they don't have an intellect an intellectual disability. If a person is old, I will te I will treat them with respect. Um, I won't like elderly speak like to them, which means like call them sweetie or like do things for them because they're not capable of doing it. No, I treat you with dignity and respect, just like how anybody should be. Okay, just how like anybody should be um respected. Just for that, my dad just said that supper was ready, so disregard that. And so, um, you know, I, I tell him my name, you know, whatever. And then, uh, so yeah, and then, like, at this point, like, he, he's staring at me. But, like, you know, like, that kind of what's happening stare, like, is this really happening? Like, pinch me, whatever. That kind of stare. So, no, I just stare at him, and I laugh, and I giggle a little. Because that's what I do. I find, like, laughing just eases the tension out of everything. Anyway, so then, like, he, he's staring at me, at me, and he asks me, what time do I finish? And at this point, you know, okay, I need to have, I need to, I need to, like, put my barriers up kind of thing. I need to set my limits. Because at this point, every girl knows that if a guy asks you, um, what time do you get off, it usually implies a date kind of thing. So then, you know, but like I said, I'm a person, I'm not going to treat him with anything else. And it's like another client of mine, you know? So I tell him, well, you know, I finish at five. So then he looks at me again and still with that, that stare. And he asks me if I wanted to go out for supper with him. 
And at this point, the last thing I want to do is reject him. The last thing I want to do is make him feel, um, uh, how can I say this? Make him feel embarrassed or whatever. So I go with the truth. And this was actually the truth, even though I don't think the way that I said it made it sound truthful. But anyways, this is what I said. Because as I said, as I, I work at a youth center, my second job. And, uh, and I told him that, you know, I can't, I don't have time really, because I finish off five, I have to go home and eat, and then I have to go prepare my things for the youth center, that's at 6.30, right? And that uh, I'm there until 9 o'clock, so technically I don't have time to go out for supper, you know what I mean? And, uh, so then he just stares at me, and he's like, the one just in back of the pharmacy, because I work in pharmacy. And, um, I say, yeah, it's the one. And then he looks at me with the same exact stare, and then he asks me if he can go. Well, this is the part where I'm like, you know, I have to, I have to do this because, first of all, I don't want to give shit because my youth center is from 12 to 17. And I tell him that. Sorry, I just had a burp. And I tell him that. And at this point, and I'm like, I tell him that, you know, it's 12 to 17, and if I get caught, I could get in trouble, you know. And uh, so then, you know, he, he stands up straight, and he looks at me again. No, no, that's a lie. Uh, he's still leaning on the, on the, on the counter, and he looks at me, and he winks at me, and then he stands up, and then he walks out. So then, like, you know, I, this is a couple minutes before my lunch break, so, you know, I get up, and I go out, and, um, and, uh, my coworker says, like, okay, you can go for lunch, because usually it's 12, and I leave. So it was 12.02, I think. Uh, I don't know. Anyways. So then I, I, I go for lunch, and I'm in my car, and I'm like, what just happened? Like, it happened so fast, that you don't know what to do. Like, I mean, some girls don't give a shit. They'll blow you off if they feel like it. Not in a sexual way, but they will do anything to get that extra attention. And, like, just embarrass you and, like, a person in front of everyone if they feel like it. I don't know that kind of person. I'm a person that believes in, like I said, I mentioned it like millions of times, respect, dignity, um, don't do others what you wouldn't like to be done to you. Uh, that's my motto. My, my motto. <laughs> my motto. And I'm a strong believer of that. And I mean, like, the last thing I wanted to do was make it come out as a blow off. Um, even though everything that I said was true, I mean, I am going to the youth center in 40 minutes. Uh, no, that's a lie. In, uh, it's 50, so in about 50 minutes, actually, I'll be leaving to go to the, youth, to, to the youth center to fix my things up. And I won't come back until 9. So, really, just the way that I thought I said it, it sounded like a blow up. And if this ever happened to one of you guys, let me know. Leave a comment in my pants. Let me know how you dealt with it. Um, if you want to talk about it from your own point of view... Uh, private message me, we'll do a, a, a dual commentary where you can, or you can just send me your commentary that you did, I'll put it over one of your videos, my videos, I don't really care. Um, I just want to know what you guys think. I mean, I really, I, I value your opinion, I want to know what you guys think. I think it'd be really cool seeing other people's point of view, whether, um, you feel proud of a blow off, or if you felt bad about a blow off, or where you should have blew off a person. And so that's what I did. I mean, looking back at it now, I don't regret saying anything I said because of the fact that I know it's true. Um, I do feel bad if I made it seem that way. I mean, it's the last thing I wanted to do. But even then, like, I was thinking about it, and like, he's not my type of guy. Like, even if he wasn't the way he is now, um, I just got text message. Um, even if he wasn't the way he is now, I probably wouldn't see myself with him just because he's not my type of guy, you know? I mean, I'm very, I'm not picky when it comes to guys, but, uh, no, no, man, I'm not picky when it comes to guys. As long as they're nice and whatever, but, like, I don't know this guy, you know? Like, I've seen him a couple times, he's older, older than me, so I'm not completely sure what he's like, you know? And, I mean, it's pretty, kind of... Like, I mean, you don't go out with a person where you, where, where he knows your name the first time he asks you out. You know what I mean? Something that doesn't happen a lot.
And so yeah, my cat, if you guys hear like scratching or whatever, my cat is scratching itself on my computer as I'm talking. Stop it! It's annoying. You guys want a cat, I will ship her to you. No joke. <laughs> More of a dog person. Anyways, that's my story. Like I said, ask me what you guys think. If I did a good job, if I didn't, if I'm a whore, if I'm stupid, if, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let me know. Try to be nice about the comments so I'm being a complete dick. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I go 12, 33 in, 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 some, in 7, so it's a 4 point something Katie. Anyways, have a nice day. Leave a comment of what you guys want me to talk about in my next commentary. I love you, and bye!